Dreamland by Harry Graham. Read for Dreams Collection 2. Stories and Poems by Chad Horner from Ballyclare in County Antrim, Northern Ireland. Situated in the northeast of the island of Ireland. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Dreamland by Harry Graham. Here you will see strange happenings with absolutely placid eyes. If for all your uncles sprouted wings, you would not feel the least surprise. The oddest things that you can do don't seem a bit absurd to you. You go in dreamland to your ball and suddenly are shocked to find that you have nothing on at all. But somehow no one seems to mind and naturally you don't care if they can bear what you can bear. Then, in a moment, you're perched by engines on a railway track. Your legs are tied, your feet are glued. The train comes snorting down your back. One last attempt at flight you make, and so in bed, perspiring, wake. You feel so free from weight of cares that, if the staircase you should climb, you gaily mount no single stairs. But whole battalions at a time. My metaphor is mixed, maybe. I quote from Shakespeare, as you see. If you should eat too much, you pay. In dreams, the penalty for this. A nightmare carries you away and drops you down a precipice. Down, down, until, with sudden smack, you strike the mattress with your back. Moral. At meals, decline to be a beast. Too much is better than a feast. End of Dreamland by Harry Graham